Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are on to the relational database cheat sheet. Uh, and so let's jump into it. So a structured query language SQL designed to access and maintain data for a relational database management system. Online transaction processing, keyword there is transaction. So frequent and short queries for transactional information. So databases, any kind of generic uh, workload or web app. Online analytical processing, so complex queries for large databases to produce reports and analytics, so think data warehouse. Uh, on to the open source relational databases, we got MySQL, a pure relational database, easy to set up. Most popular open source relation, relational database, definitely something I started off with. MariaDB is a fork of MySQL. Postgres is an object rel, uh, relational database, now my favorite <laughs> relational database to use. It is more advanced and well-liked among developers. Read Replicas is a duplicate of your database in sync with the main to help to reduce reads on your primary database. Now talking about Azure SQL, it's an umbrella service for uh, uh, for different offerings of MS SQL databases hosting services. So we have SQL VM. So for lift and shift, when you want OS access and control, or you need to bring your own license for ha Azure hybrid benefit, manage SQL for lift and shift when you're broadest uh, when you need the broadest amount of compatibility with SQL versions, MS SQL in particular. You can use uh, M uh, manage SQL on on premise by using Azure Arc. It gives you many of the benefits of a fully managed database, but it's not as good as the Azure SQL database, which is a fully managed SQL database. Has a few options here. You can run it as a single server, run it as a database, which is a collection of servers, run in an elastic pool. So databases of different sizes residing on this on one server to save cost. Uh, then we have connection policy. So we have three modes. We got default. So choose proxy or default initially, depending if the server is within or outside the Azure network. We have proxy outside the Azure network, proxy through a gateway. It's important to remember to listen on port 1443. This might show up on your exam. So remember this, port 1443, when connecting via a proxy mode through a gateway outside the Azure network. And then last is redirect, redirected with the Azure network. And that's the recommended way to do it. And I just want to point out for these three here, I didn't write it in here, but remember that this one here is for infrastructure as code. This one is for platform as a service. And this one's for platform as a service, okay?